What's happening everyone? Jay Shock Blast here and check it out. We are in front of Star Laboratories and the third level of the game is, I believe it's like stars in your eyes or something like that. Actually, I can look, you can just basically go into here and yeah, stars in your eyes. In this level, you have a boss battle with Raven and Beast Boy. You barely actually fight Raven, she just kind of is there. Uh, but that is the level where you actually unlock Raven. I've had a lot of questions from people asking about how to get these characters. And it's literally the simplest thing ever. Just play the game. Get to the third level of the game and you've got them. So Raven right here is a character that you can unlock after completing that third level. And she's 250,000 studs. So we're going to go ahead and buy her now because I've definitely had a lot of people okay, asking about her. Purpose, or are we just hanging out? And here she is. So, you know, Raven's really cool. She's a lot like she was in the Teen Titans Go uh, pack in Lego Dimensions. And uh, <laughs> she does have that awkward eye, which is or the weird like eye lift. Like, hmm. <laughs> uh, and then there's a little hand that will pop out and she will uh, it'll like tap her on the shoulder eventually. If we just sit here long enough. Uh, smiles. Oh, reads a book. I mean, this is literally Raven from Teen Titans Go pack. And, uh, you know, from LEGO Dimensions. So, I guess, really, do they really have to change her that much? I guess not. I mean, it is what it is. So, we kind of let her sit here for another moment or two. No, she's going to read her book. But, anyway. Uh, so, she flies... And she does all sorts of magical things. And she's actually pretty cool. Um, one of the cool things that she does do is she actually does lantern constructs. So that is actually something that you'll be able to do in the game with her. And uh, you know, if you decide to early on, you can actually get her. Because you don't have any green lanterns until level 7, I want to say, when you go to Oa. So if you really want to spend those... Uh, those studs, Raven is a, a great choice early on. Personally, with this gameplay uh, on Xbox One, I'm this is the only character I plan on buying, really. Uh, I'm actually going to use all my studs for uh, red bricks. So I'm trying to save them, because uh, by the time I get to Chapter 8, I want to have enough to get the two-time stud. And I'm trying to land right here on the Daily Planet, uh, because if you do... Uh, it'll basically, oh, she was the wrong person for it. It'll basically just let you go in circles. This is a really good place where you can get some studs. If you just kind of come here, land on it, and let it spin around for you. Uh, you'll get some studs, then you just kind of fly away, come back. I mean, it's probably like the area I went to the most. If you want to unlock her father, Trigon, he's right here at the clock tower. Yeah, that commute gets worse each time. So he's right there. So if we want to, we can just go right down to here, the, the bottom. And a lot of these buildings you can actually go into. I'm not going to spend the studs to, to get him, but I guess we can go ahead and try to do the quest for him. Yeah, so. Break this stuff. And there he is. This is her father, Trigon. Greetings, Dark Disciple. You've caught me at an inconvenient time, so no wishes or sacrifices today. I've been relying on my worshippers to summon me between planes, but doing so has come at a cost. This form of travel has left my powers drained and thrown my sinister schemes into uncertainty. I need relics of infernal power to recover my strength, and you... Gotham City would have been a more sensible place to search for dark items. Yeah, so she just wants, he wants us to just go and, and retrieve some items. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And uh, i got to turn the phone mode back on. Oops. I like to turn them off uh, just because it's just annoying. Uh, there's someone here. Yeah, so we just have to go, like, break these. And you can do this at any time. Uh, once you actually uh, get through the levels, uh, it's, it's free roam in between. So you can basically just 
do this. And if you happen to like not have any DLC, uh, Raven is definitely a great choice after the third level, so you can have a character that flies. Because it's it's I don't know it's burdensome to to get through some of these levels or the the open world when you have to like I don't know drive a car or whatever it may be. But we're gonna have to go up for this. Uh, I was hoping to not have to go in there. But it appears we have to. It causes... Oh, yeah. thought we might have been able to get away from it, but it causes a little bit of a cutscene. That puzzle is a little odd. A little challenging. Alright. And actually, we'll just go right through. This building right here has a lot of quests in it. The diner. All right. War. War always changes. There's Ares. All right, so we only need one more. Uh, I think that's actually the the mission we're supposed to do. So what's up here? Maybe it's a little lower. All right, so there we go. We got the mission done. Oh, so you want to challenge me, huh? Not exactly smart. Ah. <laughs> uh. We finished the quest though, and I had I had something in mind. I actually didn't want to complete this quest, so we're not going to go ahead and finish it. I'm actually going to probably end up exiting the game and and restart it. I had an interesting video I wanted to do where you basically decline all the quests, and it's just like the the little dialogue that they give you. So we're not going to actually do that, but I will say, you know, that she does her lightning power here. Alright. I just wanted to fight somebody. Eh. If you ever want to like get away from that if they don't seem to want to like stop fighting you. Just fly out somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So while we're out here, let's look at her character card. So Raven. She is going to give you uh, beam deflect, electricity, flight, heat, lantern constructs, impact switches, illumination, hyper jump, mind control, mirror portal, photo mode, security access, vent travel, teleportation, telekinesis, uh, alias is Rachel Roth, member of the Teen Titans. The only daughter of Trigon the Terrible, Raven grew up in the peaceful realm of Azerath, learning to her harness her dark magic powers and use them for the cause of good. Later captured by Trigon and sent to the Earth to do his bidding, Raven rebelled and joined her newly adopted family, the Teen Titans. DC Comics presents number 26, 1980. So, she's a very, very useful character. She has a lot of skills that I think a lot of people are going to find very very useful so uh yeah so there you go raven <laughs> that's totally raven yeah i went there i did that so um but yeah she's actually very easy to unlock and you can unlock her very very early in the game so uh i definitely think she's worth spending the studs on early uh before you get any kind of multiplier so um you know, that's up to you. So, uh, pretty straightforward. She uh, She's a pretty simple character. Oh, she shoots ravens. 
I didn't realize that's what those were. I do like it though. It's pretty cool. She bamps that purpleness. So. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see.